Whether you're still doing your GCSEs, have just finished, or in your first year at sixth form, you might be considering applying for medicine at university. But before you do so, it's probably a good idea to sit down and ask yourself some really important questions. The first of which should probably be, why do you want to do medicine? This question's a real deal breaker for most people, and a question that often I think isn't given the importance it deserves. When you think about it, this question really is a uh, the foundation for the, your entire application to medical school and affects everything from what you write in your personal statement to what comes out of your mouth during the interview, that is if you're lucky enough to get one. So if your answer to this question is something as simple as I want to help people, then it's probably advisable that you reevaluate your ideas because you could well be asked, well why don't you want to be a nurse or why don't you want to be a teacher or some other arbitrary profession that involves helping people. That on its own won't be enough. To, to give some examples from my own experience, uh, my reasons included, well, I, I really enjoyed science at sixth form, and especially seeing its application in today's society. Coupled with that, I enjoyed working with people on a day-to-day -day basis, and I wanted a career that was challenging, diverse, and ever-changing. And I thought medicine fit that pretty well. Now, it's not exactly easy to bring all your reasons into a concise paragraph, or indeed come up with them all at the same time. It's a, it's a long drawn out process at least, uh, I think, or at least it was for me. Uh, might be easier for you. I think it comes to some people easier than others. Once you've got that out of the way though, the second thing you need to address is um, whether or not it's a realistic option. One of the best pieces of advice that was ever given to me was to be optimistic but realistic. And with thousands and thousands of people applying to medical school in the UK every year with brilliant applications, it can be intimidating to hear that most of them, most of these applications get turned away. And I certainly remember feeling pretty scared the first time I, I was sat down and given these figures. And when I was first considering medicine, in fact, I shied away from it because I thought, well, there's no way um, I'll be good enough for this. I, it, it just won't happen. But after a couple of weeks of thinking about it, I came back and thought, you know, if this is something I, I really want to do, I should give it a proper go uh, and not just give up like that. That said, there is a minimum academic standard to which you have to, um, which you have to fulfill. And unsurprisingly, it's not exactly low. But given that, it's not astronomically high either. But uh, I think it's it's a decent level. It's a, it's a decent standard to aspire to, uh, and you do have to work hard to get it. So, after you've decided whether or not you, you are able to actually get the grades for it, um, it would be a good idea to start looking into getting some work experience or volunteering in a caring environment. If you have a doctor in the family or even a nurse, this would make it ten times easier because you can more often than not organise work experience through them. If not, then it's not the end of the world, but it will be slightly more difficult. Um, in my case, my mum was a care assistant in our local <clears throat> residential home and I got a job there when I was about 14 years old. Not um, not th through her but because of her. Um, it wasn't wanting to do medicine that got that made me get the job but rather the other way around. It was having the job that made me consider a career in the healthcare uh, profession. And after my AS year in the summer I did some more work experience at March's Family Network, Headway, and St Michael's Hospice, three great places to consider if you're looking for work experience. And I also did a two-day placement at the local hospital. And all of these things combined gave me a real insight into what a uh, career in medicine was actually like, uh, which proved invaluable when writing my personal statement and having my interviews. It's not always easy to get work experience or volunteering, but if, if you are struggling, then don't worry, because medical schools are more interested in what you've learnt rather than what you've done, um, which is to say quality over quantity. They would prefer to hear that you've done one day and learned something real and tangible about a career in medicine rather than see a list of uh, places you've been and not absorbed any substance from the experience. So that's about it for a uh, for anyone starting to think they might want to do medicine and 
there are it's obviously not as simple as that and there's lots more layers to the whole process uh, which I hopefully address in, in later videos and uh, if you're still interested then check them out and thanks for watching.